Okay, so we're in Blender version 2.8 here, and all I'm gonna do to texturize the cube, I'm gonna open up two windows, one over here, and bring this down for a second window right here. The bottom one, I'm gonna make the shader editor. The top one's gonna be the UV editor. And basically, to get started, make sure your cube has material on it. Uh, you can go and name the material anything you'd like, so I'm gonna call this cube material. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to unwrap this cube, so just go, hit tab, that takes you to edit mode, uh, press the U on your keyboard, and press smart UV project. Now give yourself an island margin, I recommend 0.09 is great. Um, just press OK. Now we're gonna go to the top here, and find where it says new, just press that. You can call this, I'm gonna call this cube material. Okay, so this is where you're going to set the resolution. 1024 is great for me, if you're looking for a specific, like a, a large amount of detail, you know, by all means, give this a higher value, but 1024 works really well for me. So let's press OK. Next thing you want to do is go to Texture Paint. Now it's purple because we don't have anything to paint on, and we'll fix that right here. Just press Shift A, and under Search, type in uh, Image Texture. There we go. Um, down here, zoom in. On this thing, you're going to select the cube material. Just press that. It turns black. That's great. Uh, now you're going to connect the color to the base color. And you're pretty much all set. Now, I'm going to bring this window down just a little bit lower. All I want to see right here is image because what we're going to do is we're going to save this image. Now, what Blender's doing here, and you give this some kind of directory, cube material is fine, save as image. So, what Blender's doing here is while you're doing painting on this object, it's actually saving it as a flat image, right? As important to say here is that it's not saving itself while you're painting, right? You can paint all day here, but this is not saving itself. You have to actually go through every once in a while, I recommend every five minutes, just pressing image, pressing save. That way you don't lose your work because if blender crashes, man, it's too bad. Now I do want to add that if you're working with your object and you know you use control S to save the file, um, the image is not being saved with it. So make sure that you're also saving this right here. Now something that helps out is the fact that when you're painting on your object, you'll see it brings an asterisk right here. The asterisk mean just means that you haven't saved it yet. So Anytime you're just out of break, whatever you see the last, just put, press that, press save, and you're good. Now, as for texture painting itself, you're going to want to open, uh, press N on the keyboard, go down to your tool. Uh, this is a color picker, so you could give uh, your object different colors, different brightness, whatever. And that's pretty much all I use. One more thing I'm going to tell you about is your symmetry lock. So go down here where it says symmetry, and you see X, Y, and Z. Currently, all the settings are off. It used to be there that the X was always on. Um, I find these very helpful because when you're doing like a, I don't know, it could be a, like a whale and it's obviously symmetrical. So I could be painting on one side of the x-axis and it is also painting on the other side so that really helps out a lot. It saves a lot of time and some I recommend. You can, you can lock more than one axis, so x and y. You can do the z-axis of course. You're on top, you're on the bottom. So yeah, this is texture painting in a nutshell. So it's basically just saving it as a flat image over here. And you can see what's going on here. Now this is a cube, so that's why it's very simplified right here. That's why it's not being slow. If you have a high poly object, be a little slower with it because it's gonna be taking a little bit of time to save it over here. Well, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was helpful to you.